Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> is Caitlin just out today? Did she have other... Caitlin does not feel well today. Okay. Yeah, There's a bus going around. That, that's that's exactly what she has. And she wanted to stay, but I... Like, nope, you got to go. So, <laughs> Especially so. when you're traveling in a week. Exactly. <laughs> we, wanna, we don't want anybody else catching it. Yeah. Addison, could she pick up on what the way she finished last year? I mean, how much momentum can you gain? From I thought she had great momentum going in. Like, she played really well for us mm. in, in the Final Four against, you know, bigger, taller players that we really had to have her step up, and she did. So mm. I definitely think, you know, she has the head start uh, because of that. And, mm. uh, you know, I want her certainly to have the confidence that she played against the best in the, in the country, and she played well. Mm. Have you seen any tangibles from these foreign trips? Obviously the bonding, but then also just getting the game experience. Yeah. I mean, you've been on a field. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, again, I was saying earlier that to me it's not about um, the games over there because they're so different. The international game is so different than our game, and you're playing against either really good or really bad people. And so to me it's not the outcome of the game. It's more the ten practices that we get before we leave that are extra, and that's where you, I think, really see the, the biggest benefit. To me, when you get over there, it's bonding, chemistry, making memories, having fun. Both Gabby and Kate so talked about how you're a big uh, planner for trips like this. You do a lot of planning. What, what's maybe one thing you're most looking forward to that you planned out for this trip? Um, I think the most thing I'm looking forward to, uh, two things I'll tell you, is one is we're having a, a cooking class in Italy. <laughs> I mean, Italian food, right? Uh, and the second thing is probably um, zip lining and split. That'll be really fun. Those are Addie's same. Addie's were yeah. same. Yeah. 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 I'm really looking forward to seeing Dubrovnik, though. I've heard it's the most beautiful place. And uh, we're going to go kayaking in Dubrovnik and throughout all those little islands. It should be really beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. This is a different team. Obviously, we have some big roles to fill down low. Yeah. What have you seen just so far in these 10 practices that maybe has you excited to kind of put this all together in a game scenario? Well, I'm excited that we have depth at the inside position. Like, I don't have anybody right now that I feel like, yes, she is the one that's going to be the five. But I feel like by committee right now, we have four people that are really competing for that position. So I think it's the depth of that position. Um, but I do think, like, Taylor's made a big jump. I think Sid's made a big jump for us. Hannah hit two threes in practice today. So we've seen some improvement in areas we needed to see it. There's just so much that's happened between last year and now. I mean, I know every year you guys would have Final Four expectations, but now that you guys have gotten to that point, you see that you can get there. Do you notice any sort of a difference uh, as you guys kind of start practices this summer compared to last year, previous years, to where you are now? You know, I feel like we've come into every year optimistic, but I mean, I think this year we understand the pressure that's going to be on us and the expectations are different. Um, which can also bring more pressure. Um, and also that we're going to have a target on our back, that everybody's going to be after us. And so I think this year's job is going to be a little bit harder than it was last year. I just look at somebody like Caitlin and how much uh, her life has changed over the last oh, yeah. year. And I mean, how much yeah. she's done this summer with the pro win yeah. and with Taylor Swift and with the race this last weekend. Yeah. What about for you? Has anything changed for you? I mean, is there anything crazy or exciting new that you've done this summer or since the uh, offseason started? I'm trying to think crazy or new. Um, <laughs> Honestly, you know, it, I've just been busier, just like with um, just being at more things or going with Caitlin on, you know, the, the award circuit. I've been to L.A. a couple times with her this summer and just doing those things, which are really fun. And, uh, you know, I just appreciate that I get to do those things. Were you at the Taylor Swift concert? I was not. I was not at the Taylor Swift concert, so I wasn't invited to that one. Yeah. How's, how's Caitlin handling all that? I mean, just being, uh, being so much busier this year. I mean, she's been all over the country. Yeah. You know, she's going over. Abroad. I mean, how's she handling it? And the thing is, is Caitlin has turned down. I can't tell you how many things Caitlin has turned down. You know, she was invited to the ESPYs over and over again, and, and she just didn't want to miss practices. And that tells you a lot about the type of young woman she is and the teammate that she is. Um, she was invited to go to Scotland Free to go to their pro am. Um, it, it's. You know, she has been invited to so many things that she has had to say no to. I think that's probably been her biggest lesson is understanding what's important to do and what's not important to do and, um, and learning how to say no because that's hard for young people to, to say no, but is it always, can it reach, help me reach my goal? If the answer is no, you shouldn't do it. So then 